Okay, I'm not going to go around this one. This fellow with a big machine gun waiting there. Morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 373 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here in Palenque in Mexico and yesterday we visited the ancient Maya city that gives this place its name. It was an incredibly cool place to visit, but it was an incredibly hot day. So we decided yesterday not to ride any further and just to come back to this awesome place and basically spend the whole day in the air conditioning. But last night there was a crazy rainstorm, so it's really cooled down now and it is pretty fresh this morning. It's probably like 28 degrees, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> which is about as cool as you can get at the moment here in Palenque. But today we are ready to hit the road. We are ready to make our way into Mexico. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we're gonna to be making our way west towards Mexico City. So we're basically gonna be following this road cross country as far as we can go. Yes, our next destination is Mexico City and our navigation says it will take us 11 hours. So we probably won't reach there today, but we get as far as we can. It's already 7.30, so better hit the road, let's go. Does the bearing look okay still? Yeah? yeah. Every time I jump on the bike, Sysapp, our security system inside, gives me a notification. It's like, unauthorized movement of the bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> I always think that's so cute. <laughs> Thanks, Suzap. All right, let's ride. Let's ride. Go over this little bridge. <laughs> this area here is quite touristic, but very beautiful. Very beautiful. You could have spent like two weeks or something in this area here. It's so nice. They got these beautiful cobbled streets. They got all these really nice restaurants. We went out into town yesterday and had some uh, local food. What were they called? Uh, it was pretty much a fried uh, tortilla. Yeah. With <laughs> with some vegetables in and yeah, some cheese. Oh. I think they were quesadillas yesterday. Oh, I love it. Quesadillas, cheese and vegetables inside a beautiful fried tortilla and oh my god it was nice. Yes. So, but now let's go to Mexico City. Yeah, it's time to explore a little bit of country number 20 on our journey around the world. Whee! So it was so awesome yesterday to get to see another of these amazing Mayan ancient cities. And the city of Palenque is actually one of the best and most elaborate examples of the architecture of the Mayan civilization. This city spanned from about 226 BC to 800 AD, so a thousand years of development and growth and expansion. And you can really see when we were there just the extent of these buildings they were absolutely 
fantastic. But just like Tikal that we visited in Guatemala, by the 9th century these cities had been completely abandoned and as it does the jungle came and reclaimed the place and now you've just got this beautiful combination of dense rainforest, sounds of the monkeys in the background and these awesome beautiful structures. Just coming up to military post number like I don't know four or five for the day we've actually been stopped already uh, by one of them not all of them are stopping us but uh, one of them did stop us and checked my passport checked Lavi's passport for our entry stamps I guess there's quite a lot of control for people heading north immigration control drug control okay I'm not gonna go around this one <laughs> no this fellow with a big machine gun waiting there yeah looks all right it didn't stop us which is good yeah a lot of people selling stuff including that guy and this guy selling parakeets oh I really don't like that no I absolutely do not agree with selling parakeets on the side of the no. road oh. the poor birds. I really don't like to see that no that's not very nice yes yeah, skip to the front of the queue that's the motorcycle way so it looks like there's another fella here okay i don't know what he, he's got in his hand i think a torch for some reason <laughs> i don't know what that means i don't know if that meant stop go i, I don't know and there was another guy waving but i don't know it's always quite confusing but anyway now we are through and apparently there's like a, a restaurant coming up um, in four minutes and they've got quesadillas there hey yes oh yes I'm excited about that <laughs> me too <laughs> yeah we did incredibly good this morning we did already 166 miles so far we've had a very very nice easy smooth road well relatively smooth we are bouncing around on our dodgy suspension a little <laughs> yeah. bit but just about okay and it's just been really nice actually it's been really 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 calm yeah wow look at this river wow cool that's a big river yeah crazy crocs crocs crocs, crocs yeah there's crocs, definitely crocs. gonna be crocs in that one yeah 166 miles down time for a break be open be open be open be open here 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 yes. yeah, here we go wow look at this place wow that looks deluxe <laughs> that looks nice <laughs> Let's hope that it's not too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got AC. And we still got a good eye on Bumblebee, kind of. <laughs> Buenos dias. Muchas gracias. All right, let's see what they got. So quesadillas are like... 30, 40, 40 pesos. pesos. How much is 40 pesos? Look at that, we just sat down we, and we get like wow. six sauces. We haven't even, haven't even ordered yet. <laughs> one pound 70. Oh, wow. One pound 80. So it's like one pound 80 for a quesadilla. That's not bad. Yeah. Two each? Something like two each maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Look how many tequilas they have on the menu. This is an entire tequila section. And keep in mind that this is like a roadside stop as well and it's like a million tequilas. So what have we got for lunch? We have some really nice cheese and vegetable quesadillas. I think this one here is potato with some mozzarella cheese maybe. Here's another one with uh, some green stuff. I don't know exactly what that is. <laughs> <laughs> we can as well put some black beans in there because we ordered some black beans as an extra. 
They gave us some nacho chips. Yes. And we have some really nice um, pineapple juice. And that's all for 245 Mexican pesos, which is about 11 pounds. That's a pretty good price. And we have to try all of these sauces. Got green one. Wow. Wow, is that spicy? It's spicy. Ooh. <laughs> pineapple juice, pineapple juice. Got ourselves another little checkpoint here. Let's pass through. <laughs> Even though we don't have anything on us, it's always a little bit like. Whoo. Yeah, you always feel a little bit relieved when you get through. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like. It's on my way. I passed the test. <laughs> yes. Passed the Mexican police test. <laughs> so we're all lunched up and back on the highway. And I thought this would be a good time to tell you guys a little bit about country number 20 on our journey around the world. Mexico. So Mexico is the 13th largest country in the world by area and the 10th most populous country with 126 million people. It also has the most Spanish speakers of any country in the world but alongside Spanish it also has 86 other recognized languages. The area which is now modern-day Mexico has been home to people since at least 8,000 BC and it's known as one of the six cradles of civilization it's been home to many major civilizations like the Maya that we saw in Palenque but the last major civilization were the Aztecs who dominated the region in the century before Europeans arrived in 1521 the Spanish arrived and they soon conquered the Aztecs and turned the Aztec capital Tenochtitlan into what is now the capital of Mexico Mexico City this new Spanish colony was called New Spain, <laughs> which is not very inventive. But New Spain became a major, major mining area for silver and made the Spanish very rich. Mexico finally declared independence from Spain in 1810. That was consummated in 1821 and finally recognized in 1836. Mexico ranks number one in the Americas for the amount of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and it's also the fifth most biodiverse country in the world. It's also the sixth most visited country in the world with 39 million visitors a year. The name Mexico comes from the Nahuatl language, which is the same language that Nicaragua comes from, Guatemala, and it means the heart of the Aztec Empire. And that heart of the Aztec Empire is where we're heading to over the next two days, to Mexico City, to Nochtitlan, to discover more about this amazing history. Hey guys, exciting news. We finally got our very first sponsor. Yay! Yes! <laughs> So we just wanted to take a minute to show you guys this amazing app from our newest supporter, On Vacation Doctor. Just imagine the following scenario. You're traveling in a foreign country, you're exploring the wonders of the world, and all of a sudden you get sick. Panic sets in, and you just want to talk to a real doctor, but you don't speak the local language. This is where the On Vacation Doctor app comes in handy. This app connects you to top English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. All you need to do is to input your location and the app will provide you with the name, phone number and location of the closest English speaking doctor. But the On Vacation Doctor app doesn't stop there. It also provides you with the local ambulance, fire and police numbers as well as the local US Embassy address and phone number. But the best part about this app is that it's absolutely free to use for the first six months. And then it's only $4.99 for the next six months, which is absolutely crazy and super affordable. So please guys, show your support for our very first sponsor by getting the app for free today. You will find the link in the description below. Not only will you be ensuring your own health and safety whilst traveling the world, but you'll also be showing the world what an amazing sponsee we are. So guys, stay healthy, safe travels, and now back to the video. All right, second fuel up in Mexico. We've got to film the first one, so we're filming the second one instead. Hola. 
Hola, buenas. <laughs> so they got two types of fuel here. 87 and 92 which are called magna and premium <laughs> okay uh premium gracias <laughs> we'll go for the 92 eh yeah why not we treat ourselves one pound ten one pound ten per liter yeah Ooh, okay, that's quite maybe expensive we, maybe we have to go for magna next time oh definitely <laughs> <laughs> perfecto Gra gracias, gracias. <laughs> perfecto 362 16 pounds yeah 16 pounds wow yeah it's not yeah. actually super cheap no i think we spent nearly 30 pounds in fuel today <gasps> oh my god no really okay yeah because we've done 250 miles already riding can be expensive when you ride really far muchas gracias muchas gracias, gracias. okay ciao <laughs> ciao ciao hola buenas jugo de piña si ¿Sí? ¿Sí? uh, cuanto costa para una 35 litro 35 uno litro Oh, okay. Uh, it's 36 a litre. Okay, uno litro. Gracias. Perfect. Cool. So this person is just selling a lot of pineapples and pineapple juice. And then one is 15. One is 15. Yeah, which is really cheap. Okay. So we should get one. Okay. For later. So which one? Oh, this one. Oh. <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, yeah, I gotta drink some now. I am hot. Yeah, I'm sure. The temperature has gone up. It's like now on the bike recording 35 degrees. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Very refreshing, hey? Yes. And like the lady in Panama said, that pineapple really cools you down. Yeah. So we need at least one liter of pineapple juice. That's true. <laughs> so I just asked the uh, woman working here where the pineapples were from and she just pointed like right over there so i think there's a pineapple field literally just here so we're just going to ride down this little road and see if there really is a pineapple field gracias ciao ciao it was really nice and tasty yeah yeah i think there's a uh... yeah pineapple here i think there's a pineapple on the road <laughs> Wait a minute, let me just stop here. Yeah. Yeah, this is pineapple fields. Nice. Cool. Basically, they grow in a single stem, like a sort of fern type thing. And then they just, basically, the pineapple grows on the top of them. They cut the pineapple off, and it looks like the rest of it just dies away. That's so cool. We basically just had pineapple that was grown right here, and then sold right there, and drunk with, by us. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I also just realized that we just hit 25,000 miles on the road. Woo! So it's currently 4 p.m. We've got about one more hour to ride on this highway. We've found uh, an auto hotel called Auto Hotel Jasmine in a town called La Tinaja and it's about 60 miles down this highway but it's been a long 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 ride 288 miles so far so I'm looking forward to getting off this bike yeah definitely a lot of straight road today <laughs> yeah wow declined Why? at the moment we can't get any money from the ATM which is not great because we don't have a lot of cash and uh, the hotel is cash only so 
yeah so transfer wise is saying basically that they can't pay them so we, they can't give us the money basically exactly. so it's not working on your card i'll have to check so luckily we managed to get cash on my uk card but they charged me a crazy exchange rate so i just withdrew like uh about 70 pounds worth of pesos and they charged my account 84 pounds yeah. 13 pounds in like conversion markup and atm fees so it's a bit of a mistake to be honest arriving here and not having any cash anyway yeah i mean if your budget is so tight then 15 pounds is so much well yeah it basically breaks our budget for today and it totally. makes our cheap hotel room that was going to be like 13 14 pounds into mm -hmm. basically like a nearly 30 pound hotel room yeah let's get to the room number nine gracias muchas gracias Oh, uh, mañana uh, set uh, 30. No, no. <laughs> mañana 3 o'clock. <laughs> Necesito uh, uh, Mexico City. Uh, sí, sí. Gracias, gracias. Number nine. Here we go. Got our own little garage. Love these, yeah, I love these auto hotels. <laughs> so great. So let's go upstairs and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We've got this crazy chair again. Just like in the other love hotel. It looks a little bit like a horror movie. It does really, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like you can produce a good, good uh, horror movie here. <laughs> does that have a light? Oh, it does spacious shower huh? oh, there's no seat and no back on the toilet it's like 15 pounds 60. i mean yeah it's cheap-ish but to be fair like yeah yeah i would rather sleep outside <laughs> but it is really hot and there is air conditioning in here does it work please work oh If we can at least be cool in here overnight, then I'm happy. Is it working? The air conditioning is working. Can you believe it? Oh, it's so nice. At least one big plus here being in this room. But despite this room quality, I'm sure we will have a good night here because it was the longest ride, 350 miles pretty crazy so we got all our stuff here up and we're just loading up the footage we will have a early night tonight because tomorrow we will head into mexico city and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time